Rodgers was on part in my take. So we can get a few different comments from him. He was asked the question where he was during training camp or how, like, how that all sort of transpired. What were his thoughts on missing uh, that mini camp portion? Here's what he had to say. When I was in the NFC North and playing for that team mm -hmm. uh, years ago, there used to be a real thing called mini camp where it was – uh, you had one of them usually. Sometimes it was right after the draft, but either way, it was five practices in three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So two practices on Friday, two on Saturday, one on Sunday. Now it's not mini camp. They, they can arbitrarily put a tag on whatever week of OTAs they want. So yeah. this is the mini camp week, which makes it somehow more mandatory than the other weeks. Um, but this, it's, it was an OTA schedule. That's how it's, you know, how uh, words can be a little deceiving from time to time. You can make a story out of the fact that I missed a mini camp when it was really two OTA days. Right. Interesting. That came to the first 10. So, right. So this is a media thing. Mm, so it's funny. I wouldn't have really thought about this particular argument until he said it. But it makes perfect sense, right? Like if there was a different portion of training camp, like uh, if you factor in all these practices, 12 practices, 13 practices, whatever it wound up being, if they were – you had to choose what to go to, you know, going to the 10 where you're with your, you know, beforehand. What's the difference, really? Like, it's a three-day short mini camp, and they just arbitrarily say it's mandatory. Now, look, he's still going to get fined per the CBA and everything, and there's all these logistical hurdles. My biggest issue with this is if he knew he was going on the trip, it would have been really nice to know it ahead of time. And I think whether he just forgot to tell people or he just wanted to make a little bit of a scene because he likes the little bit of extra drama and his name in the media and he knows it's going to stir the pot with Jet fans and all that good jazz. You know, Tyrod Taylor didn't know he was starting until that day. Robert Sal, oh yeah, no, we knew about it for a while. Well, it really sure as shit doesn't seem like he knew about it for a while. Uh, so I don't know. I, I like Roger's response here. I'm still just irritated that the guy that says he would like to remove all the BS from the off the field stuff and focus on the on the field stuff tends to have a lot of BS in the off-the-field stuff. And this could have been a non-issue. So I guess that's my my only gripe with this. Greenby, what are your thoughts on Roger's explanation for why he did not go to minicamp? I think it's all stupid. Um, I hear what you're saying, but I think that it's virtually impossible for Rodgers to have any opinion on anything or do or say anything without people. It's like they're, it's like the jackals just wait for anything he says. Like he's on Joe Rogan talking about pyramids and they're like, he doesn't even care about football. You could, and it's like all these fabricated stories. And I think it's complete bullshit. The guy missed two days from what it was the way it was said earlier on from i think robert sala alluded to it he had it planned already before they had you know a firm schedule or whatever he, he was just taking it he's taking a trip it happens all the time would you rather him there maybe who gives a shit he was there 10 of the 12 days uh, i think it's much to do of nothing and uh i just i don't see it i i think that more than likely, every single person in the Jets building could care less about the fact that he missed two practices. If they were called voluntary versus they're called mandatory. Like, this is not a guy that we're worried about. It's it's not Makai Becton two years ago. You know what I mean? Like, he's out of shape. He's We don't know what he's doing, and he's just not showing up. Like, that. it's a different scenario. I don't think anybody's really concerned. I think it's... Um, pretty, pretty insignificant in the grand scheme of things. And, uh, if, if this were, if these people had something else to actually talk about, I don't think it would, uh, it would be even a story, but Hey, you know, it's like, it happened in a time, you know, again, I don't, you know, all the stuff that comes out about Rogers, like 90% of it, I don't think is even a story anyway. They're like, this guy, he doesn't shut up. Why the fuck can't he talk? Why can't he have a life outside of foot? Why can't he have opinions and have fun doing podcasts and talk about the Tartarian empire? Why can't he do that without it being a problem? You know what I mean? Why can't he? He's not gambling on sports. He's not hanging out with hookers. Like, he's, there's none of that stuff. He's What's just chit-chatting. You know? it's What's the big deal? I don't get escort, it. Escort, Green Bean. Escort. It's fine. What? There's escort. 
<laughs> not hanging out with hooker. He's hanging out with escorts. I don't know if he's hanging out with escorts. Probably not. Don't but put escort, that right, if he's gonna, right, it, escort would probably be the route he goes. That's uh, and if you don't know, uh, escort is a better hooker. What's up, guys? Matt O'Leary from Talking Jets. If you liked that video, please make sure to subscribe and follow for more New York Jets content.